attention. And now, here's your host, Tom We throw another huge question mark over events of the past seven days to Russia, where Vladimir Putin has abruptly cancelled what annual event? Tony. Uh, the annual poisoning of the opposition leader. <laughs> <laughs> That's gone ahead. It, that won't be stopped, Sam. It's the, the Russian Walkleys. There's no journalist left. <laughs> <laughs> they might also have uh, been put to bed a few years ago. He loves this. He's a big TV no, fan. it's like he's asked... What's his name again? Vladimir. Vladimir? Ask Vladdy questions. That's session. Yeah. And it's got direct line with Vladimir Putin, it's called. It's a TV special and everyone in the country gets to phone in and it's been running for forever. Do you reckon his daughter calls him, like, Vladdy, like, Daddy? You're my... Yeah, Vladdy, Daddy. <laughs> I might head off. No, <laughs> All right. It was a big Friday in Israel. We just wanted to keep Anne in the studio. Um, <laughs> what is going on there, Tony? Uh, that, um, it's a new show called um, uh, Queer Eye for the Rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's going on there in Israel? Celia. Extremely casual Fridays. <laughs> Getting slightly closer, Guy. No, I believe those muscle-bound henchmen are protesting Pride Month. Well, not protesting, protesting? it. Yeah, they're, they're saying we don't like it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> In fact, they're celebrating, but, but Pride Month is the bit I'm chasing. You can have the points. Thank you, Guy. Oh, this is exciting. So David Attenborough has received his second... His second what? Guy. Uh, a set of puppet strings to maintain the illusion he's alive. Oh, no. <laughs> still alive and still pumping out the docos. His second, Sam. His second warning for clubbing a seal. Is... <laughs> Got some seal fans in, Sam. No, uh, Celia. Knighthood. Yes, indeed. Mm. It's a mega knight. It's, it's huge. It's a double knight. It's I, a day. I don't know what happens when you, you get, get two, two knighthoods. I don't know. You've but got I... two shoulders. Yeah. yeah, it's good fun. I think, I think maybe, the, maybe the Queen is flirting with him. Just yeah. finding these reasons. That'd be a good match. Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah. that's a good match. Sure. Yeah, I've been to that. Yeah, it would David make a lot of sense because they're both dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. Has visited the White House to discuss what? <laughs> Guy. A, a handy mnemonic for helping remember how to spell his surname. It is, it, it, is a, it is a tricky one. No, I learned it. Of how to spell McConaughey. Yeah. M is for McConaughey, C is for Conaughey, <laughs> C is for Conaughey, <laughs> O is for Onahay, N is for Nahay. It's a long name, Guy. We might come back to that. U is for a hey, very gay, H is for hey, E is for A, and Y is for uh, McConaughey. That's it. <laughs> oh, that, thank you. Great. Yeah. So, cannot argue with that. Thank you. No, what, but not the answer. What, is, what, was, what was Matthew Mack there to discuss? Gun, gun reform. Yes, gun ownership and reform. Thank you, Anne. To Hollywood now. Rebel Wilson has shared some very big news. Happy news. What is Rebel's happy news, Tony? She's not going to be making any more films. <laughs> very unkind. Rebel is very popular. National treasure. Guy, what is Rebel's happy news? Uh, after a long phase of rebelling against the system, she's found inner peace and will now be called Compliant Wilson. Yes. <laughs> Big life change. Not on the card, sadly. Well, well big news for Rebel. Hank. Um, no, she's got a girlfriend. Yes. Adam Sandler appeared on Good Morning America. I thought you got a little rough. Up. I, I mean, happened? this is something they have to discuss, right? <laughs> yeah, what it looks like. Uh... How? How did Adam get the black eye? Tony. It turns out you can mess with the Zohan. <laughs> 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 It was Will Smith, Tom. <laughs> no, it was Will. He was talking shit about his movie and Will was like, Will you was... keep bad boys to out of your mouth. <laughs> it was... Will was on the set. It was Will Smith. He's going through the... He's got a hit list from the cast of Grown Ups. And he's just... <laughs> no. He got Chris Rock, he got Adam Sandler, Kevin very... James is next, David Spade. It was... I'll oh, stop going. It was, it was actually self-inflicted if that gives you any help. Oh, no, I, well, I keep up with all the news in the Sandlerverse. He dropped his phone on his face. Oh. Yes, his phone hit him in the face in bed, and that would hurt if that came down from a <laughs> from a, from a high, That would be guy. Oh, yeah. oh, I believe we have two very special quiz masters standing by. Hi, Tom. Hi, everyone. I'm Chris Evans, and I'm Taika Waititi from Disney and Pixar's new film Lightyear. Here comes our question: In Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear accidentally travels where? 
Where does Buzz accidentally travel? Tony. New Zealand. Is a little more exotic. Guy. To the future. Chris, is he right? Into the future. Into the future. Go guy. In <laughs> To music news now. Singer Justin Bieber has cancelled shows revealing he's suffering from... Suffering from what? Tony. Bieber fever? Is... <laughs> not great. Die. Self-awareness. Is... Die? <laughs> no, this is a thing. This is an actual thing. See I don't know what it's called, but it, half of his... He has a condition where he's got paralysis of half of his face. It's oh. called Ramsey-Hunt oh. syndrome. Yeah, but the, the prognosis is good. He'll never sing again. So, um... <laughs> Time to meet our special guest quizmaster. And how is this for a CV? He's an illusionist, a mentalist, and a world-renowned performance artist, all the way from Glasgow via Manhattan. Please welcome Scott Silvan. Hey Scott, come on out. Good to see you. Welcome. Good to see you. Welcome. Now, let's start with the obvious question. What is a mentalist? It's a good question. Unlike a magician, a mentalist uses your emotions, memories, experiences, mm -hmm. and crafts impossible and exciting tricks from those. Wow. Yeah. Yes, Anne? Can we talk about what happened before the show? Always. I walked in on him in the toilet. <laughs> i got to say, you didn't see that coming. <laughs> Slightly different. Slightly I'm different. actually really sorry about that. I didn't. It sorry. is the highlight of my time yeah, in Australia sorry. so far, I have to say. <laughs> Drama at Britney Spears' wedding this week. Mm -hmm. What happened? Man. Awkward father of the bride speech. There would have been. <laughs> I think, don't think he was there, but Sam. The conservator of the bride speech was. Um... <laughs> <There> was... <laughs> Someone showed up. Who showed up at Britney's wedding? And oh, one of her exes was in there illegally. I think. Mm. That is right. Her ex-husband crashed the wedding. Yes. Okay. That sounds like a bit of fun. Well, no, <laughs> it didn't start the day well. Then she lip-synced her vow. So it was a. It was a. It was a uh, Scott. Scott, what do you prefer, mentalism? Me what is it, mentalism or um, or magic? Oh, mentalism, because I think it's the closest connection you can have between an audience and a performer. It's really you know, special. I know this, but Tom's an amateur magician. Uh, no. He, he can make laughs disappear from his studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. could you just plant the answers in my head? You'll get the next one, Celia, because Scott's just gone bang. Okay, it's right you. in your head now. Okay. This is for you. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Stop. So, Ms. Marvel has just arrived in Disney Plus. What's special about her? Oh, Tony. Oh, I know. Uh, she's a new DC character. <laughs> <laughs> but the, but an unusual, the first ever guy. Uh, she doesn't want people to know whether or not she's married or single. <laughs> well, there's it. <laughs> Celia, you've got the answer <laughs> in I'm ready for It's you. in my mind. She has MS. <laughs> <laughs> Sort of confused. Yeah, just give me the point. If what? you found that offensive, you can blame Scott for that. <laughs> and we will. It's um, first Muslim superhero. That's correct. An unusual story in Oklahoma. It wasn't your typical Monday morning for this cowboy. It's not completely new, but you also don't see it every day. Why did that cowboy make the news? <laughs> Celia. He was an attending a breakdown because someone accidentally put diesel in a horse. And that's... <laughs> that can be very serious. No, 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 no. This was a big thing. Uh, he's the cowboy that the drink's named after. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> he's not Sam, and I'll stop you there. What did he do? Something unusual guy. He lassoed a cow on a on a motorway, a highway. Guy, stop there and take a look. Got the phone call that there were some cows out heading down I-40. You got him, you got him, you got him. Woohoo! That is awesome. He got him, he shot him. He's a guy. <laughs> Tough week for Belgian cyclist Wout van Ert. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <It's tough. laughs> Uh, he crashed his bike and went completely oot von Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I apologise, Mr. Van Hurt. Yes, guy. <laughs> no, he he was uh, he was going to win, and he got so excited he was like, "I'm going to win," and then he lost. He guy, no, he's cycling. Take a look. Van Hurt, who is powering over the top, and he doesn't get the win. Oh, oh. the early celebration. What an idiot! Well. <laughs> 
not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Celia. Virgin Atlantic just became the first UK airline to allow what? Hands. Tattoos. Visible tattoos on their, on their flight crew. They'll be here, here and here. OK. <laughs> oh, don't. Come on, it's late. <laughs> Lizzo has officially debuted a new what on the red carpet? Tony. She's now high viso. Is... <laughs> <laughs> no, be, uh, be safe to be seen, but no, Anne. I think it was a new boyfriend. Yes, Mike Wright. Apple has announced what new feature for iMessage? Celia. All caps for mums. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> should do it. No, in fact, it's uh, Tony. You have to be able to blow into your phone before you can send a message. That would be. <laughs> just, for, and I'm just going to pause there one second and ask Tony, do you still no, resolutely not have a mobile phone? That one you've got on the desk, that's the one I've got. That is yours. It's still got that one. Do you think you'll ever come round? Oh, I'm just waiting to see if they stay in fashion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair. Apple has announced what new feature for iMessage and You can retract your message, like it, delete it. How good you can unsend that a message. That could have saved me a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're out of time. We'll leave you with a reminder of the need to pay attention when you're standing by for a live sports cross. It's time now for First Alert Sports with anchor Jacob Brandenburg. Jacob? Yes? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> for real? The high school softball playoffs have been <laughs> We'll see you next week. Good night, Australia.